What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you're having a great day so far. Today, we're going to be going over Arbitrum or ARB. You know I love my Layer 2 scaling solutions. This is going to be another option that's going to be competing directly with Optimism and Polygon. But before we get into all that, none of this is financial advice. I am not paid by Arbitrum in any way, and I do not hold Arbitrum at the making of this video. So, now that we got all that out of the way, roll the intro and let's get this party started. If you were around in the 2021 bull run, you might have heard of Arbitrum. They were a massive project. They did not have a token back then. They had no intention of releasing a token back in 2021. So it definitely caught my attention when I saw their name pop up. They're already ranked in the top 50, sitting at 52 cents, $2 billion market cap, 4 billion circulating supply already out, out of the 10 billion total and max supply. So it's finite, it's deflationary, but 60% of the supply has to be released. That can dilute price. As if you follow this channel, you are well aware of that. Now, what perked my ears about that was like, huh, why would they start getting a token now? And then I started to scroll down and I saw six in the categories. I said, ah, probably institutional money. And sure enough, capital, 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 index, index. There's a lot of institutional money on here. This is a this is a roll-up solution for Ethereum. So it's a roll-up chain. So basically it operates similar to Polygon or to Optimism. They group, imagine like a bus putting a whole bunch of transactions into the bus. The bus gets moved over to Arbitrum. Arbitrum processes the transactions faster and cheaper than Ethereum can. And they move the bus over to Ethereum and keep those transactions on the Ethereum network so that Ethereum stays cheaper in gas fees and people actually want to use the network because if gas fees are too high, no one wants to use Ethereum. No one gives a shit if you have to pay $300 to move something or buy a token or even just you know communicate or use the network at all. It's insane. So to fight that, you have Arbitrum and other projects that can be a solution. So that's where Arbitrum comes in. That's why I like the project so much. These layer two solutions as well, especially scaling solutions, also typically tend to be great ecosystems for building on top of. We've seen the success of Polygon. Now, Optimism I talked about in the other video, Arbitrum is going to be one that's popping up too that I think can do really well. They have a lot of institutional money. I've been hearing about this project for a long time. I know that their rollup is definitely something that their rollup has been talked about for quite some time as well. Now, what they call it is the Arbitrum rollup or what they'd like to refer to as the Nitro stack. So it's the mix between the Arbitrum rollup, the Orbit, which is allowing people to launch their own chains on Arbitrum, and then the AnyTrust, which is the generation of dApps. So like I was saying, these scaling solutions are great for building on top of. So they have the main utility where they have their their complementary to Ethereum and gets a lot of uh, transactions and network usage because of all the transactions that are being moved over to be processed, which looks good if they have a fast TPS that works really well too. And then they have the ecosystem and the ability to create chains, dApps, all that type of stuff. So definitely a really good project. In terms of press, you can see relatively new. They haven't really had too much talked about in the last month. But I would assume that as we get into the super cycle, especially now that we know that Trump won, these projects and Ethereum and other things could start to do really well. Now, these layer two scaling solutions come down to Ethereum also because they're complementary. So when Ethereum does well, they do well. Whenever staking gets released for institutions for Ethereum, that could be very, very bullish for all of these projects as well. Some of the projects that are already using Arbitrum, Uniswap, OpenSea, Alchemy, Treasure, big ecosystems and projects, Chainlink. So they got a lot of people in this ecosystem already as is. Now, before we get into the charts, if you do want to learn how to trade, if you're new to trading, new to crypto in general, go check out the Epic Trading Floor. I'll tag it in the video and I'll add it in the description as well. It does come with a three-day risk-free trial. If you want to learn exactly what you get from being in our community, click learn more. There's a three-minute video that you can watch. But getting all access will give you access to the community, will give you access to the academy, the private live streams, the trading floors, the members only mobile apps, the trading view overlays and oscillators, and a whole bunch of other things. So if you want to learn more about that and grab one of these spots before the price goes up, I think there's five spots left before price will go up in this range. Once we hit 100 members, I think we're at 45 right now. Once we hit 100, I'm going to close the group and then it'll be on a wait list to get in so once people leave and space opens then i can allow other people in but it will be on a wait list so if you want to be the first hundred that's in the entire world only 100 people so if you want to be one of those people and want to join the epic trading floor definitely click that link and come join us and like i said it's a risk-free trial for three days so even if you don't like it after two days cancel the membership 
I won't take it personally. And if you do want to stay in our community long term, we'd be more than happy to have you and would love to grow and become profitable traders together. And as a reference point, we've been trading since July 55 out of 65 of our trades for an 84% win rate and 30% profit per trade. So like I said, get in the epic trading floor, grab one of those spots while they're hot. Now going into Arbitrum, we can see that we are going basically into the initial ICO. Now I matched this with CoinGecko to make sure that it was the first launch. So March 22nd, 2023. So this is the first bull run for Arbitrum. Same here. So right now we're at initial price offering or initial coin offering is what we'll call it for sake of the conversation to be uh, accurate in PC. So in terms of a, a buying opportunity, this is basically as good as people that first got into the project. Now, this could slip more if the market wants to slip. There is not much floor, but that is a risk that some people would be willing to take considering that this project has a lot of upside. Now, your 2024 all-time high is relatively short. You're looking at about from current price to break all-time high at about a 365% move. And then once you break that and you go into price discovery mode, especially in a bull run, the sky is the limit for a project like this, especially if they get a lot of institutional money, the marketing team does well, they have really good dApps and ecosystems that are built. Maybe they have a couple of popular NFTs or NFT games, maybe a popular metaverse project, things like that that start to go on in the Arbitrum ecosystem. You could really see this thing take off. Now, I personally love layer two scaling solutions. I had a great time in 2020, 2021 and had a lot of success with Polygon hitting about 175 X total profit by the time I was DCA out. So all in all, I do like this ecosystem a lot. I like the complementary parts of uh, being a layer two scaling solution. I'm all about the utility. I like the ecosystem. I like that they have institutional money, which means that they're going to want to pump price. So you just don't want to be someone's last bag. You don't want to be the exit liquidity and you want to trade this with risk according to that. But all in all, I'm very bullish here. And as a long-term DCA, this is probably one of the best opportunities that you can get unless price gets even further down. But personally, I do see Arbitrum doing really well going into this bull run. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on it. And this is going to wrap up the video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I hope everyone has a great morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on wherever you tune in in the world. And I will catch you on the next video.